Hi there. Welcome. Today, I have for you a girl talk video where we're going to be talking about feminine hygiene tips you need to know, I need to know, every girl needs to know. So without further ado, let's get into the video. One most important thing, guys, is drinking water. I know that you've heard this a million times everywhere. If you're trying to get clear skin, drink water. If you're trying to, I don't know, anything, they'll tell you to drink water. Water not getting it. Water is very important. It just helps you, like, it helps your body to, like, detox itself easier. Like, it just makes everything great. Okay? So, at the end of the day, you should aim for clear pee. That would, like, at least tell you that you're drinking enough water. Two on my list is eating your fruits and vegetables. This is also another very cliche, common thing that we've all heard before. Everybody's saying eat fruits, eat veggies. You know, but there is a reason why people are saying that. Let us think about it. I mean, you cannot be eating fast foods, chips, all those things and expect your down there to smell like roses. It just doesn't work like that like you need to be healthy overall like you are what you eat at the end of the day so you should incorporate fruits and veggies into your diet uh, I've been hearing this if you drink pineapple juice your kitty cat is gonna smell like pineapples um I've never tried that but I I believe in that I I believe it's possible because I have taken some drugs that has made my pee smell like drugs and there was a time I was doing this cleanse and there was like ginger, garlic, all those herbs whatever in the detox drink and I started to smell, my vagina started to smell like bad. <laughs> it was because of the garlic. I know this is off point, but I'm just saying like what you eat affects your odor. Number three on my list is washing properly. I I don't know who needs to hear this, but you need to take your time at least spend three minutes washing your vagina. And I don't mean inside though, like just the vulva area, like the outside of the vagina, the lips and all that and it is advisable to use unscented products because scented products can might irritate some people i personally use my homemade black soap to wash down there i don't put the soap inside i just wash you know the outer area you should wash twice a day i heard it's not like the best to wash more than twice I, I don't know about that but like and when you're washing your vagina you should wash from front to back because when you wash from front to back you're you avoid bringing like bacteria and feces from the back side to your vulva area number four on my lips is shaving or waxing you should be shaving or waxing your vagina or if you don't like to do either you should maybe um, invest in a, all those tiny scissors and trim the hairs around you don't want a whole forest down there okay because if you have hairs down there it's gonna be very moist which is also calling bacteria which is also hiding ground for bacteria and the goal is to minimize the bacteria that we can get um another tip is you shouldn't shave right before you have you know course because on a normal day when you shave we have cuts and all that so we need to give that time to heal before we 
jump into bed with someone, that cut can easily get infected and we don't want that to happen. The fifth thing on my list is intercourse. Ladies, do not let anybody in you, okay? Always use protection. Always use protection. Not, not just to avoid pregnancy, but to avoid infection. Because you cannot trust this man these days. Like they are in the streets, honey. So you need to, you know, use condoms, use protection. If you have multiple partners, I would advise you to you know cut that out. <laughs> and if you don't know this after sex okay Nobody. number six on my list is period hygiene oh my god I've heard so many horrible stories about period it's, it's just crazy what people are doing out there these days ladies please do not wear your pad for two days don't leave your pad in for more than eight hours like on the always pack it says change every eight hours in, in fact our advice is to not even wait up to eight hours like it doesn't have to be full for you to change it and a tip for my ladies that use um pads thongs are better for like pads like i don't know how to explain but the structure is just better you won't slip and like period won't slip out and stuff um and when you're on your period anytime you change your pad wash i mean not with soap and stuff but at least clean you know maybe baby wipes or whatever ice water just clean number up. seven ladies cotton underwears are your best friends because your vagina needs to breathe so if you're wearing um other textures like maybe lace satin silk whatever all those fabrics are not breathable so your vagina doesn't really get air and it needs air it needs to breathe but you know some of us Still like to wear our lace and all that if you're gonna wear lace like this at least make sure that where your vagina is gonna sit has cotton we all know moist areas are breeding ground for bacteria so opt for cotton underwear and a bonus tip um not don't sleep with underwear whatever type of underwear you're wearing safe just make sure it's not even tight like yeah like it's not tight it's not making all those lines on your body and stuff make sure it's loose and my last and final tip for you guys is learn your body i feel like it's very important for every woman like to know her body like be comfortable enough to look at yourself you know look at how you look down there and like the smells and all that like just be in tune with your body so that if there's something wrong you will know and if you made it this far into this video thank you so much for watching this video and like this video share this video with your friend that needs it or your friend that doesn't need it just for fun share this video and comment down below what you think about this video and don't forget to subscribe 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 <laughs>